Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will learn what is torsion and we will derive the torsion formula. Now torsion is when we apply torque to a shock. If I have a shock, let's say this is a shock. If I apply a torque to this shock, it will twist. So this is known as torsion. When you apply torque to a shock and it twists, this angle of twist like if I have a shock, it will twist with some angle, right? This angle of twist depends on many factors. And for that, we will derive the torsion formula, which will tell us the relation between that angle of twist and many more factors like the length of the shock, the diameter of the shock, the shear strain, all these things we will uh, derive in the formula. So look here, we have this shock, it is fixed from one end, from the other end it is free. And we are applying, let's say we are twisting it in this direction. So if I want to twist this shock, I will consider, let's say I consider a point A on this shock. And if I twist this shock, this point A will also be twisted and it will move to some other point and that point is let's say a a dash as the shock is fixed from this uh, end so we will see that a a dash will travel with this angle you see this angle it will cover and we represent this angle with phi so the point a was initially here then we apply some torque to the shock and now it is at a dash the length of the shock is l from here to here look here if i look into the shock from this end like the cross section it will look like this is it a circular shock so it will look like this if this is the center we have a here after some time it reaches a dash here the radius of the shock is r so the diameter is b and the radius of the shock is r now this theta between a and a dash this is one angle and this is the angle of twist that the point has covered and we keep this we are twisting in this direction so this theta Look into this circle. In this circle, the theta is equal to what? How we can find the theta? We know that this arc, this small arc, which is a a dash, from here to here, this small arc a a dash, this is equal to r theta in this circle. We also know from this figure that this is the shear strain, the phi. The tangent phi is equal to, if we take this triangle, look from here to here, and then this a, a dash, and let's say this is O. So tangent phi is equal to what? Perpendicular divided by base. So tangent phi, this is phi, is equal to a, a dash, divided by length of the shock. This is equal to tangent phi is equal to a a dash divided by length of the shock. Now we know that for a very very small angle because the shock, this point, the angle is very very small. The, 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 the angle is traveled by the point a to a dash. So for small angle we can say that tangent phi tangent phi is equal to almost equal to phi for small angle so we are approximating here the small angle approximation we are doing so tangent phi is equal to phi if tangent phi is equal to phi so it means this equation will become phi will equal to a a dash divided by l phi is equal to a a dash divided by l now we know that a a dash is equal to r theta. Let's say this is our equation one and this is our equation two. Let's say. 
So what we do? We put equation 1 and equation 2. So we will get that phi is equal to r theta divided by n. r theta divided by n. Now phi is the shear strain. And shear strain, we know that shear strain is equal to what? F even if it is the normal strain. So we have like the, the, the young modulus is equal to stress over strain. But if we are dealing with the torsion, so it is shear stress and shear strain. So in that case, G, which is the shear modulus, is equal to shear stress divided by shear strain, which is phi. So phi is equal to shear stress divided by G, which is the shear modulus. So we will put this here in this equation instead of phi. So phi is equal to tau by G. So I will put tau by G is equal to R theta divided by L. Tau is the shear stress and G is the shear modulus. Right? So R is the radius of the shock, theta is the angle of twist, L is the length of the shock. So this is one equation. Now here we have the theta and I can write this one that bring just R here, right? So because the shear stress divided by R is equal to G theta divided by L. This is one of the relation in the torsion formula. So there is angle of twist, there is shear modulus, there is length, we have the shear stress, we have the radius of the shock. Now one important factor which is torque, we need to find the relation for the torque and we need to bring torque in this equation also because torque is an important factor. To bring torque, what we will do, we will, in this cross section area, we will consider a small element. Right, let's say we have this cross section area, cross section area of the same shock. Right, I will consider a small element inside like this. I will share it. This small element, so this is very, very small portion in the shock. So the area of this small portion is very very small so I will call it dA. The radius will be dR and the force acting on this small area, small element or ring you can say will be dF for this small uh, area of the shaft. So this is for the total. Now look here. We have the shear stress, the shear modulus, the angle of twist, the uh, length of the shock, and radius for the whole shock. But if I want to make this equation for this small one, I need to change the R. And then I will put like the shear stress. Shear stress is equal to G theta divide by L and bring this R here and put the small R. So this is for this small A, small cross section. Now the force here is equal to what? We need to find DF, we have DF, right? What is force? We know that force is equal to what? The uh, stress times area, because stress is force per unit area, so force is equal to stress time area, but here we have shear stress. Now that small force dF is equal to the shear stress which is tau times small area dA. Now this shear stress, we know that from this equation, let's say this is equation 3, from equation 3 we know that shear stress is equal to this relation. So I will put this equation 3 here. So dF is equal to 
g theta divided by l which was the shear stress and times d yeah, there is r also and times d a this is the small amount of force acting on that ring now we have the force we need to find torque so the torque will also be that small torque so dt is equal to df times r now df we have from this equation we will put the df here so dt will be equal to g theta r divided by l da times this r this is the torque for this small section so if i simplify it further dt is equal to g theta divided by l r one r is here this one one r is this one so r square da this is the amount of torque on this small ring in the shock now we want to find for the total shock so this dt is small so if i integrate this if i integrate this i will find for the total shock right now i will integrate this here and here now this one will be equal to torque this one will be equal to now this will be the total torque here i have g theta l these are constant so i will bring it out g theta divided by l and integral of r square with respect to da now this integral of r square da is known as polar moment of inertia which we represent with j and this polar moment of inertia for different types of structure the shop is circular the shop is square rectangular whatever this the polar moment of inertia will be different but now we will just write the polar moment of inertia here so this equation will be torque is equal to g theta over l times j which is the polar moment of inertia so this polar moment of inertia if i bring it here so it will become torque divided by polar moment of inertia is equal to g theta over n this is another relation which has the torque polar moment of inertia angle of twist shear modulus and length of the shock now look to the, the the previous equation let's say this equation a and this is equation b in both these equation the right hand side is equal to the right hand side so we can write the total equation in this form the t over j is equal to tau over r radius and this is equal to g theta over l this is the torsion formula r torsion equation now from this equation we have the angle of twist shear we have the polar moment of inertia we have the torque we have the shear stress the radius the length and anything if it is unknown we can let's suppose some parameters are provided some we can find and at the end the important thing we can find the angle of twist how much the shock will be rotated so if we have a torque we know the shock diameter we can find polar moment of inertia and if the torque is given so you need to find how much it will be twisted let's say if you have an allowance like if you want to design something and the angle of twist the twisting is allowed at some 20 degree 21 degree 25 degree is allowed you put it in this equation and find the torque from that and then later on from the torque you can find the power so with this equation you can play and you can design different shock so we will solve problem in the coming videos on this equation to find different unknown this is how we derive the torsion formula